Hi, I'm CJ Elmerig with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. <clears throat> this morning we're going to go over a new Cimarron, and this is one of my favorite trailers right here. Uh, we try to keep this trailer in a couple different setups, a couple different sizes, but for the most part, uh, the way we lay this trailer out and the concept behind it, we try to keep very consistent in a couple different sizes for you. What it is, is this right here behind me is a 2021 Cimarron Lone Star. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and put the drawing up on this trailer so you can take a look at it. But this trailer right here is 28 foot long, it's eight foot wide, and it's six four tall. And what we do is we call this our dirty tack setup. And I'll show you here in a little bit on why we call it a dirty tack setup. Uh, but again, we try to keep this in about a, a 24 and a 28 um, we kind of keep a, a 20, we kind of have to mix that one up a little bit, but this concept and this layout are really, really cool. We really like it. So th our thought process behind it is if you're a, a, somebody that needs to haul some, you know, maybe some cow calf pears, maybe haul some bulls, haul some show heifers, some show steers where you're trying to kind of find a trailer that, that fits both for some recreational, but also for at home. So what it is 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 this this setup works really well for both and again i'll show you here in a second that dirty tack kind of concept but let's just kind of start up here at the front of this trailer and we'll work our way back and get into that here in a second um, we went ahead and we put a single leg hydraulic electric over hydraulic jack it does have the manual override pump on it which is really really nice so if you do get an emergency situation you can pump this trailer up and down off the trailer itself but boy, it's sure sure nice to push a button on this. I mean, this is 28 foot on the floor, so I mean, it's a good sized trailer. So not having to you know manually crank this trailer is a really nice little feature and something that you're gonna appreciate over, over the length of the time you own this. So we do have a battery box in here. You know, with this setup, we've got a single battery. We also have a battery disconnect on there, which is pretty nice because we can kill you know, all power to this trailer. So in case the light gets left on or something, we're not going to drain that battery. Um, one thing that I don't talk about it near enough is this nose on these Cimarron's. So Cimarron actually has a eight foot two length nose. So from the gooseneck drop wall to the actual coupler itself, you know, that nose is eight foot two. A lot of other competitors kind of float between 7.6 and 7.8. Um, the reason why I really like this is, especially when you get into a longer truck, like, you know, a longer wheelbase, a long box, you know, when you go to drop that tailgate on a lot of trailers, that tailgate actually kind of starts bumping up against, you know, your jack. And it's really hard. I mean, you can't work your way through it. I mean, you almost have to get the, the, trailer hooked up then put that up and if if it's more of a manual jack you got to then lift the leg up but you got to get your tailgate out of the way with this longer nose i mean on a lot of these trucks you can actually have your tailgate down and you can still get behind them which is a really nice little feature the other thing i think it helps the way that these trailers pull they pull extremely well um, and i know a lot of that has to do with axle placement but axle placement, and I think the way that that nose maybe balances it out, I think that really helps. The other thing that we've gone in and done because of these uh, new trucks are getting taller and taller is the industry standard is a 50 inch gooseneck drop wall. So from here to the bottom of the floor is 50 inches. And one thing that we're running into is these newer trucks are taller and taller. We can't get the bed clearance that we want and keep the trailer running level. So we've gone in here at Trans West on all of our non-living quarters um, on some of these Cimarron's here, we've gone in and we've done 53 inches. And the reason why that is, is now with these taller trucks, I can adjust that coupler how we want it to. I can get you bed clearance. You know, on these trailers, I, this is what I'd like to do. I like to be able to touch the bed with my pinky and be able to touch the bottom rail or not at all. That's the kind of clearance I'm looking for. That's about eight, eight and a half inches. Um, on these non-living quarters, that's what you kind of want. That way you're not dinging up your bed. This trailer's running level. So now as we jump into the trailer, I'm gonna kind of show you where that concept of a dirty tax system kind of came into play here. We put a side ramp on this trailer and a lot of these trailers in the past, we've had this ramp kind of right up in this area, kind of where this escape door is. 
But what we did is we shifted that ramp back and we moved the escape door ahead of it, but on this passenger side. Now you can have this on driver's side if you want. It just seems to work a little bit better if everything's on this side, especially if you're showing off of this trailer, which a lot of shows are going to that. You're gonna see a lot more of that. So again, the concept here is, is now I have an escape door that I can hop into this trailer and then I've got my side ramp set back of it. But now, what's kind of cool is, let's jump here in the stall area. And on this trailer, we've got two different traveling gates, which is pretty cool because now we can manipulate stall sizes all we want with these two gates. Right now, I've got this one pushed up against the gooseneck the gooseneck drop wall. But what I'm gonna show you here in a second is I'm gonna roll this gate. I'm gonna show you how easy these gates are to roll. Um, Cimarron actually has a rail that comes off of the roof and then we actually pin against these upright posts and these are about every foot apart. But what's cool is, is this is where the dirty tack concept comes in. So if you wanna use this front area for tack, guess what, you already have a ramp right here. So I can bring up our bigger equipment you know, your upright uh, show box, your fan carts, generator, anything like that. I can actually run those up and then I can go ahead of the ramp. So again, you can see how easy this is to roll. I'm not even gonna touch it. This trailer actually sits kind of back a little bit. Um, the way it's sitting right here, right here on the lot. So it's naturally just coming. As long as it's balanced, man, it just glides. So now I could bring that equipment up. I could put it up front there. Now I can use this right here as a tack wall. And we actually set this ramp back a little bit more than we've done in the past. It's actually 96 inches from that gooseneck drop wall. But what we can do now is I can set the gate here. I can set it here. I can set it right there. So I can kind of shrink down this tack size in about three different increments here for whatever you want to do. Now, for example, if you're going to be using this on the farmer ranch and you're going to be hauling pears or anything like that, now I can shrink this front stall size down. I can put calves up there. I can put cows back here. I got that other second gate that I can manipulate stall sizes as well. Um, if I need to haul a cow-calf pair, I can separate them off from everybody else. If I need to separate a bull, I can do that as well. But this is where the concept of that dirty tack and that name came from. I mean, yes, it is not a completely sealed off wall, but again, we can have that equipment in there, have our cattle back here. Um, there are things we can go in and do to these gates. You know, you could put a rubber, uh, basically kind of mat on the bottom here to kind of keep, you know, the shavings and stuff apart. Um, you know, you can actually swap these gates. This one here has a 48 inch swing. It'll swing both ways. So again, even if I don't want to um, move this gate, I can bring equipment up and go right in there. We've actually hinged this gate a little bit different than our, what we're used to. You know, most of our traditional livestock trailers with center cut gates will actually swing against passenger side. So our hinges are on passenger side of the trailer where this one we swapped them over here more closer to driver's side. And you got to think about how you're loading equipment, unloading equipment, or loading and unloading show cattle off the side ramp. You know, it's a lot easier for me to walk a heifer up and have the skate swung this way and me go in there and then also bring her out. If it was swung the other way, now I got to work around the gate. So that's the reasoning why we hinged it this way and had it swing this direction. Now the second traveling gate behind us here, this one here is just a slide. So it doesn't swing, but this right here, this gate will actually slide. Um, so if you wanted to swap these, you can, you know, you and a buddy can run them to the back here, swap them out, you know, one on each side, put them back in and you're good to go. So it doesn't have to be in any type of, of order the way these are set up. Um, but again, with having the ability to run these two traveling gates, boy, it's really, really nice. Uh, because again, you can manipulate stall sizes all you want. Um, what you're also gonna have on these Cimarron's is your standard insulated roof. It's a half inch thick, it's an R3 thermal level. 
uh, really keeps this stall area a lot cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof. You know, this is a little bit lower profile of a trailer. And the reason why we can get away with a really low profile with this insulated roof is because of what it does for temperature control. You know, as heat rises, you know, in the past we've had taller trailers try to get that heat away from the cattle. But because of this insulated roof keeping it that much cooler, it's not a big deal. We can actually keep it a little bit lower profile. And then you've got two-way roof vents so you can manipulate, you know, airflow in these trailers. You also have plexiglass for the two air gaps. That can be removed if you want. There is a storage tray up in the gooseneck. And then you can see all the LED lighting in here. So there's a whole lot of lighting in here. I mean, it just it gives you the ability to, you know, do everything you can in the middle of the night and not have to, you know, have your phone out or a flashlight or anything like that. And then over here on driver's side, we put you a high and low tie rail. So you can tie cattle up, tie cattle down, either way there. But again, this, you, as you can see, this is why for if you're looking for a multi-purpose type trailer, um, farm and ranch, and then also with some show capability, that's why these dirty tack setups are so nice. As we get out here, you can see high and low tie rails as well on the exterior. That way, if you are tying out at a show or showing off the trailer, you can do that as well. Two thousand, uh, two eight thousand pound rubber torsion axles. This one here actually has 17 five inch wheels with 16 ply tires. So good running gear underneath this trailer. Those are nitrogen filled tires, so PSI levels aren't going to fluctuate drastically. You know, messing with temperatures, causing blowouts for you. You get a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. We also like on these bigger and wider trailers, we like to put this amber turn signal. And the reason why is it's, it, it just, you know, hey, it, I'm going to turn my blinker on. I'm trying to get over. Um, we know a lot of people aren't paying attention to us in trailers. So it's just another indicator light. This will also indicate when you hit your brakes. It also works as another marker light for you. It's pretty nice to be able to drive at night and see this big marker light. I mean, these LEDs you can see, but boy, it's just, hey, everybody, here we are, here we're coming, we're, we're wanting to get over. Um, that's just a nice feature and something that we've been doing on a lot of our uh, bigger and wider trailers here at, at TransWest. So we get to the back here. So this is a swing gate with a slider. And there's a couple new things that I'll show you that Cimarron's done on these, which is pretty cool. The very first thing is, is they have come up with a slam latch for us. So in the past on these all aluminum trailers, you know, we didn't have the capability to have a slam latch, which I really am a big, big believer in just from a safety standpoint. So again, if you're maybe load more your cow calf pairs or bulls something like that you know you can go and you can just bring this gate up and it'll slam and then i've got the time to come and then bring my big cam over and lock it where in the past i had to get this up kind of hold it and then get my cam so from a safety standpoint you know this is a really nice feature that they've come up with that now we can go ahead slam it and then we can come up and then latch it the other thing that they've done is this also has a slide gate on, on the back as well. On these wider trailers, we like to do the 36 inch wide. It's just a little bit bigger air, air gap back here if we're gonna butt trailers up uh, next to each other in a parking lot and move some cattle across or you're getting up to an alleyway. Um, just having the ability to get this gate out of this opening and have us a little bit bigger opening it's really nice but the other thing that Cimarron's come up with as well is this is this big heavy duty UHMW plastic but what I can do is now I can slide that over and it latches as well almost like a, a slam latch on the slider I'll do that for you one more time here so a really cool concept that they've come up with there we really like that um, that feature but you know we've kind of done a few different things to this trailer um, you know it's not just your standard stock trailer you know it does have a lot of extras on it but again these are things that you're going to be using 
whether using this on the farmer ranch or using it for shows. Here's a really good view of this exterior low and high tie rail, you know, the length of this trailer. So this is a great side of the trailer if you're, if you are going to actually tie out overnight. I mean, it's pretty nice to maybe carry a couple panels and I mean, you can almost create a pin if you wanted to off of this. Um, but having the high and low tie rails on here, the length of this trailer is really, really nice. We also have some exterior LED lights on each side of the trailer and back so you can really see this. You know, again, at nighttime. And then the last thing I'll point out is this is the black metallic sheeting. Um, so this is a, a black metallic setup. So in, you know, on a cloudy day or in the shadows, it's gonna appear a little bit more black. Um, if you get out here on a nice clear day with the sun on it, it's going to kind of appear to be more of like a dark charcoal. Um, but we really like that color. I mean, it doesn't show dirt. Uh, it really kind of hides that extremely well. Again, this is a really cool setup. We really, really like it. Uh, you get the high quality Cimarron build. I'll give you the stock number on this one if you are interested in it. So it's a 2021 Lone Star, 28 foot, eight foot wide, dirty tack setup, stock number 5N, 201, 144. Again, we carry some of these and maybe in a different model, the, the Steerwalt model, we carry a lot of those with air ride suspension with more of a true tack setup. Again, we carry this in a 24 footer. We're actually sold out of it right now. We've got those on reorder. Um, same with the 20 footer. We've got more of those on order. If this is something you're interested in, give us a call. We can help you out with it. We can also build you something. We can look to see what we have on order as well. So give us a shout 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.